Nairobi, Citizen TV. And the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, has broken its silence over the controversy surrounding the three Venezuelans arrested with election stickers, terming the said stickers as non-strategic election supplies. In a statement, the chairman of the commission also indicated that the three were employees of Seamless Limited, the local partners of the firm supplying election material to the IBC. Brenda Wanga has more. The full page 13 point statement from the IABC comes two days after the DCI accused the Commission of Dishonesty over the true intention of the three Venezuelans arrested in possession of election material. The IABC, in its statement, however, steers clear of responding to the allegations laid against them and the three foreigners, Jose Camargo Gregorio, Joel Gustavo Rodriguez Garcia, and Salvador Javier Sosa Suarez, and their Kenyan contact, the CEO of Seamless Limited, Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed. The DCI had raised issue with the fact that there was no proof that the three were in the employ of Smartmatic or the IEBC, yet they were found transporting sensitive election materials in the absence of an IEBC official. In the statement, the IEBC's chairman, Wafula Chabukati, says the stickers found in the luggage of the Venezuelans are non-strategic election materials and are part of what Smartmatic is expected to deliver to the IEBC for the elections. Chabukati says, and I quote, For easy identification of the Kim's kit, Smartmatic is required to provide stickers to aid in labeling each of the kits for the purposes of packaging and dispatch to all polling stations, end of quote. The confiscated stickers were marked for use in 10 counties. The IABC says the stickers contain information on the polling station, polling center, ward, constituency, and county based on the gazetted polling stations. They also have a unique barcode. Already, the commission says it has started distributing the Kim's kits to stations across the country. The kits are loaded with electronic voter identification and results transmission system softwares, SIM cards and SD cards with the voters register with both biographic and biometric data for each polling station. A total of 46,228 Kims kits are set for a similar number of polling station, a reduction from 42,233 that had been gazetted after seven stations in Kimilili constituency were merged into three. An additional six backup Kim's kits will be stationed at the county assembly wards for each county. Smartmatic International, aside from providing election stationery, has also supplied 14,100 Kim's kits, bringing to a total 55,100 Kim's kits available to the IEBC for this election. The commission also defended the 3.2 billion shillings contract it entered into with Smartmatic, a company founded in 2000 in the United States and headquartered in London, UK, and one that deals in cybersecurity technology for elections, saying that the company won the tender after achieving the highest technical and financial score out of the five bidders considered by RABC. Under the terms of the contract, Chabukati states in the statement a bidder was required to provide proof of ICT support staff with a local registered office in Kenya. Smartmatic did this through Seamless Limited, a firm linked to Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed. The commission reiterated its commitment to delivering a free, fair and credible 2022 general election. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV, Nairobi. And President Uru Kenyatta 